Hi everyone. So today we are going to talk about some of the mishappening which can happen with us in the lab due to our negligence. So first thing is that we should not be negligent while doing any experiment in the chemistry lab because you never know which acid is harmful, which base is harmful because you people are very, very new to these experiments, right? So we have to be very extra conscious and please, not, please don't do anything until and unless your teacher is not asking you to do. And please uh, sit quietly whenever you go to the lab just listen to your uh, teacher there what they're uh, telling but still if by any mean you go through any of the things like you you got uh, any kind of burn you got any kind of cut or any eye accident so how you can treat it how you can tackle that situation properly let's talk about it so if you got any kind of burn so if it is a simple burn which is causing blisters or if it is not even causing the blister, it is a direct heat and from there you got a burn. So what you can apply there is you can simply apply either the mustard oil or you can apply a burnol cream. Okay, so burnol will burn. Burnol cream can be applied or you can apply some oil there, which is mustard oil. Okay. Mustard oil can also be used if it is an acid burn. If it is acid burn, first of all, just make sure that you properly rinse it with the clean water. After washing it with the clean water, just put some, uh, make some solution of sodium bicarbonate with water. Mix this with water and prepare a solution. And then you can apply it on that acid part. And after that, again, remove it. After wiping off with this sodium bicarbonate solution, just again, wipe it off, apply more water to it, and then apply burnol cream again at the end. Okay, so that is going to ease the pain. Now, if it is a bromine burn, at that time, you cannot use the same thing which I've told for the acid burn. Acid burn is a different kind of burn. See, like cause a simple burn, which was causing blisters. We have used there only the burn oil, right? If it is acid burn, we have used sodium bicarbonate solution there. And after that, we've applied the burn oil, right? The third one is if you've got a burn by bromine, there you will use the ammonia solution, right? There you will use the ammonia solution to uh, properly wipe it off. Next is if you have got any kind of cut, then how will you treat it? First of all, just let the blood move out so that all the bacteria, all the dust, what, whatever is there on the top just moves off. Then wipe it off, clean it with water, and then you can apply a solution of FeCl3 over that so that the blood clotting starts faster and no blood is lost. Okay, so we can apply this FeCl3 solution on that. Now, if you catch any kind of these uh, eye accident in the lab, if it is because of uh, acid, there again, you can use sodium bicarbonate solution and just put it in your eyes, just clean it properly, and then you will feel relieved. Okay. And with alkaline, uh, let's say if you have by mistake got a sodium hydroxide solution or any other which was basic. So at that place, you can use the boric acid boric acid solution you can use to properly wipe off your eye and just clean it and obviously you have to rush to the hospital but before this this is something which you all can use to properly clean your uh, if you got any kind of burn your minor cuts are there or eye accident if happened okay so this is one percent ammonium solution yeah so this is it so this was some things which you can use during any kind of uh, problem caused because of the negligence of the teacher or because of the students, this thing can be done in the lab. And after that, quickly rush to the hospital and doctors will give you good care on the problem caused. So this is it for today. Now we will be meeting up with the next experiment. I hope all of you have learned something from here. So just keep learning, like, share and subscribe to my channel. You will get to learn many new things there. Take care. Bye-bye.